There's something about the grittiness of the people that play in the Bronx. All our players, they just got that toughness to them. Everything is not given to me, and I gotta go grind and get what I want. Captain Jack is the captain of New York. His name speaks for itself. He blossomed over the last few years into a household name. There's a million of you. One mistake, off you go, who's next? Basketball can take me places that I've never been. I definitely see that he has the opportunity to be a lottery pick. The way the game is in the East Coast, a lot of gritty, gritty guards, a lot of kids who get after it on both ends of the floor. It's very skilled, They're very tough kids. The toughness of the game from the East Coast I feel like it's what makes the kids better. I've been coaching the 2024 group since they were in seventh grade, and I've noticed a big uptick in kids that really love the gym. It's very interesting about how the kids are willing to work and how they're always training. They always have personal trainers. They're everywhere they need to be. It's amazing to see kids that are dedicated to the game of basketball the way they are. As a result, they've become a lot better. When I first started, they weren't as talented. They're now some of the top kids in the class, and that's just a testament to their hard work. I watched a lot of kids from eighth grade, but to see the growth in their game and the maturity, it shows a lot. I think that Ian fits right in the scope of things when it comes to 2024. He blossomed over the last few years into a household name. He's a very tough guard, shifty, explosive. He can shoot the ball, he can get downhill. Just an all-around player. I think that he did a really good job of establishing himself in the bigger games against larger competition. As a result, that's exactly why you see him getting the notoriety that he has garnered over the last few years. The Bronx is challenging. There are a lot of really talented basketball players, especially where we're at, the Northeast section of the Bronx. And there's something about the grittiness of the people that play in the Bronx that kind of speak to the skills and highlights the skills that they have. We in Bronx right now. I ain't always live on this side. I used to live a little further down. But I moved here about like five, six years ago. Growing up on this side, it wasn't always the easiest really. Just not really the nicest area, but it's been good for me. I've been safe, I've been straight. Just going out even to the parks, everybody always competing hard and just being out there and not wanting to lose. Cause if you lose, you probably wouldn't get on again cause a lot of people out there, everybody's going out there and playing their hardest every game. I'm uh, going to go to my man Keith's spot. So then his little home setup. up. Then we get a little cup. Man himself, Captain Jack. What's up? Bro? What's up? What's up? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, young fella. What's happening, man? I'm good. You good? Yeah, I'm Corey. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Yeah. You the one they talking about, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. Corey Homicide Williams. With a nickname like Homicide, you already know what you're gonna get with him, so. That's what's up, man. Congratulations early. Appreciate it. Always good to see a kid from the Bronx doing <laughs> well. Homicide, he started playing basketball. Now you see where he's at. He's announcing games, he's broadcasting. Cause he's around the scouts. I feel like he's a good mentor for you. Look at my wrist, check. Look at my cheek, check. Look at my whip. Who is the guy, right? That, all right, I'm about to play against him. I gotta give him the business. What separates you from that guy? What separated me, how much I take pride in the defensive end, really. I, I, I take pride in that. I, I don't want nobody scoring me. I take that personal. So on the defensive end, definitely would separate my game from, I feel like, everybody else's game. Let me tell you something. There's a million of you. One mistake, off you go, who's next? You know why? If you mess up, I don't want that a part of my brand. That's just how it is. Well, he's a good kid. Before he was Captain Jack, we were just Ian Jackson. Smart kid, does what he has to do. He's in that gym, he works hard. Very humble too, he should go far. So for him to be focused, locked in, I'm proud of him. Simple as that. All right, bro, appreciate you. Gauchos was always the big brothers of New York City basketball. The Omni Classic, it's like something they do right after the season for the high school kids to have fun, like to enjoy themselves. Right now, people would want to see is Captain Jack, Ian Jackson, 
you want to see Taha Pettifer, because you see him on Instagram so much taking all the highlights. Then you got Elliot Cadeau, and they all play for like New York team. So it's like, that's the kids you want to see, because they the kids coming up. Ian, I was right off the championship at Cardinal Hayes, so everybody came down to watch him. Probably had like 25 points that game. He got MVP of the game, and that's why his name is Captain Jack, because he just shows up. <laughs> Uh, that's a name that came from Dim. <laughs> in sixth grade, right before he hit his major growth spurt, he used to have pains in his knee. Now, after every practice, every workout, he would limp. And he reminded me of Captain Jack Sparrow. So I would call him Captain Jack, and then the name kind of just stuck. Captain Jack, he definitely stuck. <laughs> I'm glad, though. I love the name, man. I used to hate it. I used to hate it before. I never thought it was good, but now I love it. The way that we see it in the NBA, the better guards, we consider more combo guards. And they have the ability to really score at a high clip. For a majority of the combo guards that we see in the NBA, Ian's skill set fitting within that category. I think that his ability to handle the basketball, but also play the two and the three, are why he considers himself a combo guard, because he feels like he can do a little bit of everything. Combo guard is more of a shooting guard kind of thing. He, he does more in the scoring aspect. He definitely could do the point guard thing, but he more of a defensive and a scoring guard. So I take pride in that. Shy Gillis Alexander, definitely somebody my mom would give after. Uh, I feel like we have the same frame, and the way he gets to the spots and shoot the shots that he want to shoot is definitely something I look at and something I want to adapt into my game. There was a player, he passed away, unfortunately, Terrence Clark. I saw a lot of similarities in their game, even down to the hairstyle. Like, I think that just watching Terrence grow and watching his development as a basketball player and watching some of the stuff he was able to accomplish. I see a lot of those things in Ian. The swagger, this love of the game that kind of make me draw that comparison. I feel like high school is more demanding. Just having to deal with the classwork and still be able to make it to practice and do everything. Like have a rough game and come to school next morning is way more demanding. AAU is fun though, uh, being able to travel, have all the cameras out watching everything, and just seeing so much different talent from across the country. As a kid, you know, it gives you a different outlook on life because you get to experience things that you don't see in your neighborhood, in your hometown. But it kind of forced him to break out of his shell. He's a reserved kid, he is friendly, he does smile, but now it's starting to help him develop the confidence that he needs to kind of blossom into the Ian Jackson that we see today. And as a basketball player, it's helped him to develop that same confidence as well. This is a great experience. And it's opened my eyes that basketball can take me places that I've never been. That's definitely more than just New York City. We got some calls from some college coaches, but then we got a phone call from the G League. So they were trying to get some information about how his game is suited. And in the conversation, they said, oh, wait, he's a sophomore? I thought he was a junior about to be a senior. And they were like, wow. When I heard that, I knew that they meant like this kid has some really big NBA potential. I try to keep him level-headed, keep him focused so he can work, focus on the day-to-day -day and just getting better. But I definitely see that he has the opportunity to potentially be a lottery pick. Since I've been ranked uh, number three in the country, uh, it's definitely been different. Captain Jack is the captain of New York. His name speaks for itself. For him to say, I'm gonna stay here and play with my friends, like, that's what it's all about. So that's why I think the city really adapts to him. To hear the Bronx got the top 10 players, it's like, we finally can get a bow on the map. Where are you headed in 2024? So in 2024, I'll be headed to the University of North Carolina. <laughs> Where I see in the future, definitely playing college basketball. And that's something I definitely want to do. Being at the Final Four recently, watching those type of games, the environment, the atmosphere, it's definitely something I want to be a part of. And after that, the NBA is the plan.
Megan, what you got on? I mean, besides this video on my laptop, I'm rocking the Star Play collection. Sheesh, that's a banger. Where'd you get that? The Overtime Shop. Duh! Just click right here and get fed like me.